first uh, isolate the agent by removing this positive in agent release and then the interface for the main panel you must uh, remove also the alarm relay okay and here as you can see there is a detect 1 and detect 2 this is zone 1 and zone 2 and this is input uh, 3, 4, 5 input 3, 4, 5 it will be uh, a board switch manual push and a uh, pressure really, uh, pressure switch here is the interface for the main panel this is the trouble relay a supervisory and an alarm alarm relay here as you can see there is a, a module here you can see this one alarm supervisory and trouble and bell bell you can find it here in the audible audible you can there's you can see there here audible audible one and audible two it will be a bell alarm bell uh, strobe with light and uh, uh, just discharge or evacuate and uh, first release uh, remove this uh, uh, agent uh, release positive side and the alarm relay and then measure the battery individually it will be the normal uh, measure or maybe 13 like that okay individual uh, and uh, total for 27 volts and also you can measure the AC power uh, line one, uh, line to neutral line to earth and neutral to earth okay if you conduct a testing you must uh, first you must activate the zone 1 if the zone 1 is activated only the bell can notify then after that zone 2 activation then it will be a uh, strobe light with uh, sound strobe light sounder and gas discharge when you activate the zone 1 and the zone 2 it's called cross zoning when you want to delay the release of the agent you must press this switch abort switch it will uh, stop the countdown but if you release it it will uh, go back to count uh, uh, if you press the abort switch the count uh, it will stop the countdown and if you release this abort switch it will go back again to the uh, start start countdown again it will be 30 seconds like that